Hi, my name is Michelle Thorpe and today I have the opportunity of interviewing someone who's been very successful of growing private businesses over the last 15 years. He's an entrepreneur with a passion for turning small startup businesses into financial empires. I have the pleasure of conducting his first ever exclusive interview, so please let me welcome Ramwell Management CEO, Jeremy Fodi. Hi, Jeremy Fodi. Thank you so much for having me here at the headquarters of Ram Oil in Irvine, California. Um, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Sure. It's very nice to have you here as well, Michelle. Um, I appreciate your time. Um, basically, uh, I've been in business myself for since 2000. I started up a, a large uh, mortgage company that we took from one employee up to over 200 employees. Um, did that up until about 2007, got over to $100 million in sales. 2007, I sold out of that business and moved into another business in the financial world, which was uh, in reference to uh, debt settlement and debt collection type of practices. Uh, once again, we were very successful there in building that business. Um, and now I'm moving into the publicly traded business and space to try to replicate uh, what I've done in the private space and make it happen um, in the public space. Jeremy, it sounds like you've been very successful in business. What led to your decision to becoming CEO of Ramwell Management? Well, thank you. Um, well, having been in the private uh, business entities mm -hmm. for so long and doing public, publicly traded companies were always of interest to me. I've taken those companies that were in the private sector mm -hmm. to a, such a level I could have really benefited by having them in a public arena. So now I have so many things in the mix with so many different businesses that I'm working on. It is going to truly benefit us by being in a public vehicle. So that is why I chose Ramo Management to become a CEO and take these products through that public vehicle. Can you tell us a little bit about your senior vice president, Jeffrey Broderick? Yeah, Jeffrey's been um, a huge help in developing and getting Ram Oil off, the, uh, off of the ground. His resume basically speaks for itself. He's an attorney, he's an accomplished businessman, he's uh, walked that path of life, and he's really, really brought a lot of value to what it is we're doing and what we're trying to do, and he continues to impress me daily with everything that he brings to the table. So I'm very, very excited to have him on my side. I'm very excited to have him part of our new entity, which is Advantis Corporation. Um, he's, uh, he's, he's one of the guys that will be there uh, till midnight if he has to. He works hard and uh, he gets the job done and there's no resting in him and that's what I like most. I know you're very limited on what you could say, but can you give us a little idea of your vision and your growth for the future? Sure. Um, as mentioned before, um, I was in the, going down the path of developing several products and product lines that I was currently working on. Um, we are in the process of developing those and getting those to market. Um, so that is what the future holds for Ramo. is that my, my, my overall goal is to get these products up to speed and get them launched and get them on the platform under the Ramo umbrella so we can continue down the path of being successful and launching these products. Jeremy, what type of changes are you currently looking to make in the Ramo direction? Well, I think the most important change that I see that we can bring to the Ramo platform is turning it into profitability. Um, we want to make sure that we sign our key relationships and get those deals facilitated, which start to bring a profitability to the entity. Because prior to me coming in, I know that the entity has not been profitable, but my overall goal is to finally see Ramwell become profitable. Is there anything you could announce at this time that would be considered breaking news to the public and the shareholders? Yes, Michelle, there is. We're very, very excited that on November 16th, our name change is finally going to take place. Uh, we have changed the name of the corporation to Advantis Corporation. And we're very, very excited of the new uh, branding and the new efforts that we're putting forth to rebrand our old identity into Advantage Corporation. Is that what I see over here? Yeah, so that was a dead giveaway that uh, the name change has taken place, uh, but it won't become official until November 16th. Exciting news, thank you. If you allow us to see into your crystal ball, what will we see Randall's future looking like in the next 24 to 36 months? Well, immediately you would see our new symbol change on November 16th, so that's exciting. Mm -hmm. You would also see our name change become finalized on November 16th. Um, as far as the long-term goals of uh, Ram Oil, which is now Advantis, I gotta get used to saying it, is uh, I would definitely see us reaching profitability, continuing to build exactly what it is that we have today. Um, and we are heavily moving into the medical field. Uh, that is one of our visions and one of our goals, and we have a lot of exciting things coming in that particular industry, in that arena. 
Um, so look for great things to come from that. Um, I'm one of the guys uh, in business that I get bored very easily if I'm not continuing to build. And so I really like to continue to build and continue to add things of value uh, because we all consider this a job, not a hobby at the end of the day. And so if, uh, as long as I can continue to move that ball forward and bring things that are positive and profitable to Ram Oil now at Vandis, um, I think that we'll all be better off. Sounds like you're gonna have a busy year, Jeremy. Absolutely. Jeremy, can you tell us your core business model for Advantis Corporation slash Ram Oil Management? Uh, yes, we're looking to completely change our past business model and move into the medical world. We have several medical devices and machineries that we're looking to uh, bring aboard to be able to launch our medical division. Uh, we've had these products in the makings for quite some time, um, so we're really putting some emphasis inside the medical world. We are also moving into the entertainment world. Uh, that's kind of been something that uh, I've dabbled in in the past for quite some time. Um, so we are looking to create a complete new division, which is in, in the entertainment sector, which I think a lot of people will be very, very pleased with the direction that we're going with that and uh, who is going to come in and be a part of that with us. Uh, we have a few different people in mind and a few different companies and corporations that we're currently working with to be able to bring that to fruition. Um, in reference to the medical world, um, it's groundbreaking uh, technology that, that not many people have or have seen. So we are really excited about bringing that into our current business model. And I would say those are the primary two things that we are focusing on. Um, but like with anything, uh, the machinery is not cheap. It's very, very expensive. Um, so we are doing our homework and doing our due diligence to make sure that uh, we bring aboard the right machinery, the right people, the right uh, sophistication that we need to be able to develop it and turn it into a true winner. Um, so those are the two paths that we're looking to focus on and uh, we really are gonna roll up our sleeves and make sure that we turn that into very profitable divisions. Wow, that sounds really exciting. Yeah. So outside of business, who is Jeremy Foti? Well, I'm actually a loving uh, husband, a father of four. I have three boys, a little baby daughter. Um, when I'm not working, I'm busy coaching my, one of my three boys, it seems like all the time in, in, in baseball and other sports. Uh, I like to barbecue. We go out to our house in PJ West uh, golf course and like to relax and spend a lot of quality time with the family. A lot of family time and a lot of work. Do you, do you leave any time for fun? Yeah, as a matter of fact, we do. We, um, we, we entertain quite a bit. We have a house that's in Newport down on the water. Um, one of our favorite things to do as a group with friends and family is uh, take our boat. We have a 50-foot boat. We go down to Catalina Island a ton. We're always down there in the summertime um, trying to uh, relax. And uh, when we're back at the house, you know, we entertain. Kids are swimming. We're barbecuing a lot of uh, friends over. So we do make time for fun, yes. Sounds like the Orange County lifestyle. Absolutely, it is fun. Well, Jeremy, I know you're an extremely busy man, but is there anything you'd like to share to the current Ram Oil Advantis shareholders? Well, first and foremost, I'd like to thank each and every one of them. I know it's been a long journey for some, and I'd like to thank each and every one of them for being a shareholder and believing in where the, where the company's going. Um, at the end of the day, it's my job as the CEO to make it game-changing for everybody. And that's what I'm setting out to do. I'm making, trying to make a difference in everybody's life, including the shareholders, because without them, Ram Oil slash Advantage would not be around today. So if I can put in the extra mile and make it that much more beneficial for our current shareholders and future shareholders, that's my overall goal. Well, thank you so much for spending time with us today, and congratulations. Well, thank you very much, and I appreciate you coming in today and, and taking the time with me as well. Thanks, Jeremy. All right.